call. The race to the hospital, the wait, and then ultimately that unbearable news. Five families had to experience all of that one year ago. But there is so much more to their stories of hopelessness and healing. J.D. Miles sharing with us tonight as he is invited to the home of one of the officer's widows, who is now sharing her deeply personal account of that very night. I just mm -hmm. want to keep it the way that it is. It's a box that still holds an untouched wallet, um, keys, handcuffs, and, and other things. His badge. His badge is in there. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sergeant Mike Smith was carrying the night he was killed in downtown Dallas. It was first night back at work. Heidi Smith says they had just returned from a family vacation. She learned after he died that he had volunteered to go to the protest in downtown, far from where she thought he was working. It was around 9 o'clock, a few minutes before, a few minutes after, and I was in the shower and the, my phone was ringing. Your husband has been shot. He said, well, he's, he's downtown at the protest. And I said, no, you've, you must have the wrong Mike Smith. My, Mike Smith is, you know, at a different station. Heidi later learned her husband was downtown and wounded, but no one thought it was life-threatening. From what I understand, his mic didn't hit the ground. He was talking. They said he was in good spirits. Officers were unable to get Smith's family to the emergency room while the husband and father of two was still conscious. His widow wasn't prepared for the unimaginable news from doctors. Along with a chaplain, and he extended his hand to me, and I knew that Mike was gone. It wasn't what I was expecting. A year later, Mike's gone, but reminders of his sacrifice fill his family's home. Signs of healing, though, are missing. I think I'm still going back between anger and guilt. My youngest will still wake up crying several times a week. My oldest sleeps four or five paces away from me. How do you want Mike to be remembered? He was a man of honor. He respected everyone. He was also a teenager who immigrated from Taiwan, became an American citizen, joined the Army, and paid his way through college. He volunteered that night to drive into danger, and one of his last acts of bravery was looking out for his rookie partner. He didn't even think twice. He got out. Um, he gave the rookie instructions to, um, I believe, to take cover. After that point, Mike was the last one. That was shot. And he said that he just kept asking for his girls. J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.